I was laid on, I know holidays and all that shit, I was laid on some shit, but I just gotta say, I know we in 2023, like I say, January and February kind of feel like a continuation of 2022, so we're gonna see how t 2023 is, I don't believe in that New Year's resolution bullshit, nigga, I'ma just keep pushing New Year's, same old shit, I'ma keep grinding, keep being on my time, and, and hopefully I flourish and I get to the top of the mountain, you heard me, but anyways, we need to talk about a little sad news, you know, sorry for that little fine, we need to talk about big, big scar. Now, I already passed away. My condolences is 22 years old, young king. And that's all I really got to say about it. One of my favorites, my new favorites, you know, I found out about Pooh Shiesty first and a big third. And then I found out about Big Scott. I just like how he just tackles a beat, how he bops on a beat. I found out he signed to 1017. I'm like, okay. And he just vibes. I just like the way like he just tackled a beat and how. And he was doing his thing because we all know the front runners was uh, Pooh Shiesty and Fujiano was the front runners of the new 1017. But they got locked up and Big Scott been going crazy handling that shit for Gucci and all. Really doing his thing on the label. And when I found out he passed away, I'm like, damn, bro, what happened? Now, I know he was a street dude, you know, he might have beef or whatever, but the way he pays a lot, man. Really fought with his music. I really did. Just made double XL too. Like, really fought with his music, and I feel like he could have went crazy this year. If he kept grinding, kept doing his thing, he would have went really crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that shit hurt my heart when I found out he passed. I really fought with bro. I wasn't the biggest fan. I wasn't there. They died, so I'm not going to be that type of nigga. But... Dope ass musician and my condolences to his friends, his family, close to fans. I swear him and him and Pooh Shiesty like cousins. So I know Pooh Shiesty feeling that he lost his brother like in 2021. So the fact you lost Scott in 2022, you know what I'm saying? That she crazy. But dang. let's talk about this shit. You hear me? So Big Scott's cause of death revealed by Memphis family. The XXL's freshman freshman's uncle Arthur Woods shared the news with TMZ. A shocking number of rappers lost their lives in 2022, just days before we welcome in New Year. Yet another name is topping the list. 22-year-old Big Scar on Thursday, December 22nd. That was my people's birthday. That's why I wasn't even doing shit. Rep uh, reports of the 1017 artist's death began circulating online. Since then, law enforcement has given confirmation, uh, and his family has opened up about the late man's cause of death tmz the hip-hop police they know all they see all uh, you know what i'm saying Repo uh, reportedly spoke with the late uh, recording artist's uncle arthur woods who was able to provide more information regarding his nephew's death apparently the memphis native born alexander woods was at his girlfriend's house yesterday when he overdosed on prescription pills it remains unclear where Scar got the medication, however, his family says that the countless traumatic experiences he went through, such as being shot and surviving a serious car accident, were heavy on him. While the pain was undeniably brutal, it only inspired Woods to grow and make a name for himself in the industry. His stage moniker came as a result of the vehicle crash during which he went through the windshield afterwards was left with a massive scar on his body. During his shooting incident in 2020, the bullet that hit Scar began traveling up his spine. Following that, he needed surgery to remove his appendix. Damn, he been through a lot of shit. Aside from the physical issues, Uncle Arthur says his late nephew was struggling with depression throughout his life, particularly the death of his grandmother was tough for him. Rather than dwell on the sadness, Woods is choosing to remember Big Scar as a nice young man and a beautiful person who was very passionate about music. Previously, law enforcement sources shared that Scar's body shows no signs of foul play. They're moving forward with a further investigation of his death at this time. R.P. my nigga Big Scar. R.P. that's all I really gotta say, man. I was just sad when I heard that shit, man. Because I really fought with bro. I thought he was very talented. I was tapped in with his music and the fake he passed, man. That shit hurt my heart. Young cat. Young dude. Young legend. Young cat. You know what I'm saying? So that hurt my soul. Hey, if you ain't if you ain't really heard of Big Sky, I say go do your research on my fault with it. Especially if you like that Memphis sound and go and fuck with the music. Um... Check out, you know, the 1017 projects if you just want to hear him on a couple songs. Uh, he got a project, I think, called Grim Reaper or something. It got, like, the Grim Reaper on it. And, yeah, go check this shit out. But, yeah, R.P. Big Scott, man. That's just sad as hell. 
Never know what motherfuckers go through. We looking at this nigga like he, he got the fame. You know what I'm saying? We think he good because we ain't in that position. You know what I'm saying? We struggling or we living check by check or whatever or whoever. Like, we think he good, though. But, like, hey, some of these situations, you let the glitz and the glamour fool you. Some of these niggas ain't straight. They really going through some shit, man. Hey, that's why, like I said, I just want to check up on all my peoples, make sure they straight, bro, for that. What I'll do with this guap if I get this shit, make sure all my peoples are good, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have troubles, y'all gonna have worries, but at least I gotta take a little bit of that away, you know what I'm saying? That's all I need, I ain't need a thank you, girl. But, hey, man, I ain't, I ain't even here to do it on myself, but I'll say it for that young man, bro. I'll say it. Take that negative of all them accidents and make that your rap moniker and blow up and be big. Respect, young kid. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta go, you know, I don't like doing them pandering type of shits in these type of videos, but like, all I really gotta say is R.P. Big Sky. One of my favorites. Dope ass artist. I enjoy this music a lot. I don't know those others that enjoy this music as well. So, hey, keep, hey, hopefully. Hey, y'all gonna scream that shit when you get hit royalties or whatever that go to his family, see your publishing that go to his family, whatever. And hopefully they got some music in the tuck, they could release another project with him on it. That money could go to his family, his people. So hopefully Gucci got it like his people. I don't know if Big Sky have kids, but hopefully they got his kids and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's all I really gotta say about the situation. My condolences to his friends, his family, of course, the fans, and... Yeah, you already know what it is, man. I'm gone. Slime Zoom Peace, y'all. Just gone. Aye.